Okay, so I'm here with Johnny Davis, who is a promising youngster over the cross country and 5k. So, Johnny, could you please access your uh, cross country performances so far this season? Um, yeah, it's been generally quite good. Um, I mean, before the year, I obviously had the big disappointment of not making the uh, European team um, at Liverpool, uh, where I came seventh. Um, but that aside, yeah, it's been pretty decent. Um, got my first GB cap at the start of this year um, in Edinburgh, which is a really good experience. Um, and also ran fairly well in a couple of the, um, the McCain series in Cardiff and uh, uh, Bristol, was it? So, yeah, overall it's been all right, yeah. So how did you get over that disappointment of not making the team? Because um, you were one of the eight-lane favourites to make it, so it was a bit of a shock, I think, for a lot of people. Yeah, to be honest, I thought I had a very good chance of making it. Um, to be honest, I didn't run the race very well. Uh, my coach isn't particularly happy with me after the race, which was fair enough because I just ran the race badly. I went off a little bit too hard. Um, so yeah, it was it was tough to come back, but I kind of just uh, made me more focused and want to uh, really focus on the rest of the season, uh, particularly sort of like getting into the world's team um, in um, in a few weeks' time. Okay, so that does lead me on. So, what are the uh, rest of your aims for the cross country season? Um, I'm running the Southerns next week, um, but then the ultimate aim is to get into the World uh, World Cross in uh, Birmingham. Well, um, so yeah, that that's the ultimate focus. So um, all my training's leading up to that, and that's what I've been leading up to pretty much since Liverpool. So, will you be doing the nationals as part of the build up? No, I won't be doing the nationals now. Um, so it's literally just the Southerns and then the um, inter counties. Okay, so uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? So where you train, who you train with, and who you coach yeah, by? Um, I train. I run for Reading AC. Um, I've got a great coach, Rob McKim. Um, yeah, I have a really good group there. Uh, it's um, it's not not like the largest group, but it's a really like a uh, good bunch of people. Like, like we get on really well. Good banter before sessions and that. So. Uh, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, would you give us a, a typical training week for us, please? Um, on Monday, I would be doing something like a 40 to a 50 minute steady run with a little bit of tempo. Um, Tuesday would be a session um, down at Palmer Park, the uh, stadium, uh, with Reading AC. Um, and that would be sort of grass intervals or something like that. Um, typically between sort of 20, 30 minute volume. Um, and obviously it's been getting sort of slightly far. Now we're getting into sort of the races, it's got a little bit faster. Um, Wednesday would be sort of 40 to 50 minutes, quite easy. Um, the first day would be, um, I'll do a morning run, just 20 minutes, really easy. Um, and then sort of a uh, 10, 50 minute tempo in the evening down at the track. Um, and then we'd also do a circuit session after that. Uh, Friday again would be sort of just 40, 50 minutes easy. Um, Saturday would be um, some kind of hill session or something like that. Um, typically sort of longer reps, but we often, often sort of uh, combine that with some short stuff as well. So sort of some like maybe some eight minute reps and then some three minute reps after that 3K pace or something like that. And then Sunday I do a long run in the morning. Uh, somewhere between 70 and 80 minutes. Um, a couple of times I've gone up a little bit further than that, only a couple of times. And in the evening I do a circuit session at um, Reading University. Yes, yeah, so that's a typical training week really. Okay, Johnny, so have you got any plans um, of going to university after you finish with school? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, my first choice is to go to Birmingham. Um, that's definitely where I want to go. Um, yeah, I've also, I've got, um, I have sort of, obviously, I've sent off my UCAS, so, um, and I've got offers from Bath, uh, Loughborough, and um, a few other places, but uh, Birmingham is definitely where I want to go, so as long as I get the grades, that's where I'll be going. Have you not thought about going to the States at all? Um, I've thought about it, and like, I was talking to a few um, universities over there, but to be honest, I like, really wanted to stay closer to home and also sort of um, 
I think for me it'd be better with um, athletics and everything, sort of with people that I know and like obviously a little bit closer to home, and maybe possibly thinking about going America postgraduate or something like that. Okay. Um. So, what are the aims going into the summer? I know we're still on the cross country, but um, have you got any aspirations for making teams? Yeah. Um. The main focus for this summer will be to make um the GB team for the um Europeans. Um, under 20s in uh, Italy um, so I'll, I'll be looking at the 5,000 meters for that um, on top of that I just want to get a get a few PBs so I want to run sort of 345 for 15 um, uh, 5, uh, 5k I want to run 1350 and that sort of mark and um, also I'd, I'd need to uh, need to update my 800 PB as a hasn't really come down recently so that's the uh, due for a uh, you for a uh, improvement, I think. Okay, Johnny. So, who inspires you the most? Um, I think after the Olympics, it's hard not to say sort of Mo Farah, obviously, with what he did. But on top of that, I think um, Galen Ruff as well, because showing like it's not just the East Africans that can um, then challenge at the top level. It shows that someone like that can actually do it. It shows us like hope for everyone and hope for us here. So. I think they're the people that inspire me the most, probably. Okay, so the last question, Johnny. Um, if you could give uh, anybody an eight-lane tip, which is from yourself, what would that tip be? Oh, that's a difficult question. <laughs> um, I think just like... I think, yeah, basically, you should just uh, make sure you, you enjoy just doing what you do. Like, if you're forcing it, you're probably not going to probably not gonna do well, so you just want to enjoy it and then hopefully hopefully good things will come. That's a different tip. We haven't had that one before, so that's great, Johnny. <laughs> um, so, well, from thank you for 8-Lane. We uh, wish you the best of luck, and we hope you make the um, cross-country team in March, and uh, we look forward to seeing some good performances from you during the summer.